How do vegans come up with such stupid ways to protest? Yesterday, a group of vegans put themselves into these concrete shoes and stood outside Starbucks holding up a sign because they're tired of the 50 cent upcharge on soy milk. These guys literally thought it was a good idea to pour wet concrete onto their feet, wait one or two days for it to dry, and then have somebody carry them in front of a Starbucks so they can hold a sign about how much they hate paying 50 cents upcharge for soy milk. Do you literally have nothing better to do with your time? Some of the idiot protests couldn't get their feet out. No surprise there, it's fucking concrete. What did you expect? So ambulances had to be called for these guys, wasting even more taxpayer dollars. A few of them were also arrested because they shut down an entire street because of their dumbass protests. These vegans, through their actions, are making a dickhead company like Starbucks look like the good guy. And it makes me feel bad for all the other cool vegans I know. The saddest part, these dummies probably feel like they accomplished their life mission. Of course someone like you would find disruptive activism to be stupid. After all, you're just a fat white guy who makes a living off making TikTok videos. So fortunately for you, you probably live in America as well, which means you'll never have to fight for any sort of right for yourself. Uh, it's already been given to you, so don't worry about that. What you should be worrying about is the fact that even though you're calling these vegans stupid, it looks like they're in pretty good shape and that they know how to take care of their bodies. Whereas you, on the other hand, it looks like you can't even find your neck and I can't even see it. I don't even know if it exists. Instead of talking down on animal rights activists that look better than you and are probably healthier than you, how about you try and get on a treadmill and just run one mile, just one mile without taking a break. I've been vegan since I was 13 years old and I'm 19 years old now and all throughout those years I've maintained a better physique than you ever could. I look better than you could ever look. I'm healthier than you and I'll be living a longer life than you. And fortunately for the animals I don't pay for them to be murdered. That's the biggest difference between me and you.